this you do with tax students during the peaceful protest. It makes me think that our institution is very corrupt. Police are supposed to check the people when the people are doing bad things, but who checks the police when the police are doing bad things? We have no legitimacy of that at all. In my opinion, police give themselves the authority to attack the students, whether it's through fear, whether it's through fear of being attacked, or whether it's through fear of maintaining order. Okay. In my opinion, it should be the right. Now, a force that they used was extreme. It's way too excessive. I mean, you're you're hitting unarmed students with nightsticks. You know, it's, it just it doesn't make any sense. The movement has grown in such a way that we have to take some sort of drastic action to bring attention to the issue, the public education system. And in any case, um, they are just holding hands, forming wars. The police have no reasons to use violence against them. I don't think the police should be justified to hurt people, but I also don't believe that the protesters doing illegal actions like putting up tents should also be justified. So the police should not be like harmful to people, but the people should not also break the law. I don't know. I feel like they're by like setting up an encampment, they're like asking for police presence and everything, but I feel like at this point there's nothing else to do because no one's listening to what we're saying. So they're just trying to be dramatic to get attention. I've been communicating with the cops just, you know, civilly. And all, all it really takes is just to calm down the crowd, and just speak. I know it's harder to do when there's a lot of energy and a lot of tension. But I feel like if they were able to just communicate in a more simple manner. My opinion is ridiculous that like, students are being considered when all this policy is being drafted, right? Because when you think about it, like students are the ones directly affected by this. And when we look at our administrators, our administrators don't even resemble us at all, right? Most of our administrators are rich, old, white men. And that's a problem because they don't identify the way. How many of them have lived in poverty? How many of them know what it's like to eat once a day? How many of them know what it's like to not see your father because he's always working? You know? Them making these tuition hikes, them cutting people's jobs like that, that really affects me because it's, in my opinion, it's like I'm not even looking. Then, as I said, um, the movement has grown in such a way that if we do not do have some drastic action, actually occupy, um, do a cannon to, to bring attention to like the whole cow community and even the residents here, um, the movement will not be effective. The policy is there, but then there should be flexi flexibility towards people people who has feelings, who have flesh. Just looking at the plaza, I can just imagine this being packed all the way back to Lower Spout and all the steps and the general strike's gonna be really general. It's gonna be everyone out here. Faculty, staff, you know, students, community members, everyone's gonna be out here. And I feel really great about it. I know the region's just canceled the meeting, but you know, we're still striking. We're still gonna be here.